Surely he shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler and from the noisome pestilence. You know, there are some strange scriptures. Paul had occasion to consign certain believers over to the attacks of Satan in order to cure them of immorality and blasphemy. Now he did this knowing that the enemy could only slay them physically but could never touch their eternal souls and that the suffering therefore could ultimately be beneficial to them, cleansing. Judaism has long taught that suffering can be extremely cleansing to ourselves and further that the suffering of a righteous person contains power to cleanse others. This is a fascinating thought. The more righteous the sufferer, the greater the degree of virtue to cleanse others. They develop this thought based on Isaiah 53 and other passages and say, therefore, the sufferings of the Messiah will cleanse a multitude. I'll say that again. The sufferings of the Messiah will cleanse a multitude. 